Hi, I'm Terry Brock with TerryBrock.com. Did you see the article in today's Wall Street Journal? I want to share this with you about Marissa Mayer, the new CEO of Yahoo. And it says, uh, the title is, A Makeover Made in Google's Image. Very, very good article with some principles for you and me as we run our own business. She was brought over from Google because she had some tremendous knowledge of how things work, what to do, how to make an effective organization. And Yahoo brought her in. I think they did a good thing on that. We'll see how it does in the long run, but I think it was very good. And they talk about uh, what she is doing now and some principles she has brought in that can help you and me in the business we're doing. For instance, she's searching for the answer and it says here, she's now working with hiring approvals. So that this way, uh, with uh, like Google's co-founders did for years, Mayer has asked to approve of hires at Yahoo. You think, wow, how is she going to be able to do that? I mean, she's the CEO. They've got a hundred bazillion employees. I don't know the exact number, but something like that. And they've got a lot of these. How can she take time to do that? But you think about it. Wait a minute. She's focusing on what really matters most. And that's what you and I have to do. We might not have as many employees as Yahoo. But we have very important matters that we need to pay attention to and others that we're going to let other people take care of. Something about delegation, something uh, about Peter Drucker and telling us you do what you can do and only you can do and let others do the rest. She's focused on that because think about it. What is the real essence of a company like Yahoo? Is it the uh, great buildings that they have? I've never been there, but I'm sure they have some very nice offices and some good equipment. Is that the real essence of uh, Yahoo? No, I don't think so. Not for Yahoo, for Google, for Microsoft, for Skype, any company. Where their real skill is, is in the brain power and the people. Now, they talk about this and we say it in our literature. Yeah, our greatest strengths are our people. And so many times we see that in CEO reports. But you know, it's true. It really is, and you've got to invest in that. And if you're a small business, the smaller your business is, the more important it is to focus on that training, learning, because none of us know how to do this right at the start. When we get are born, we have to learn it, and that comes from continual education, what I like to talk about with the study, exercise, and meditation, SEM, that we do every day. Here's another point that they brought out that uh, she is doing, data analysis. Mayor has stressed the need to use more data on how people use Yahoo services to decide whether to to develop new products. So they're going to look at the data. You've got to look at the numbers. Much more than, well, I think we ought to do this, or I think we ought to do that. Too often people go by what they think, their own experience, and they always refer to themselves. When you hear that, red flag should go up. And instead, you want to think, what does the data say? What is out there? What are we seeing in the metrics? Find those important metrics that help you run your business. How many people are visiting your website? Which pages did particularly well? Which pages didn't do well? Even those that sometimes I think they're going to do really well, and they don't. And others I just say, well, I'll throw it out there. And whoa, it does very well. you got to watch the data. That's how to do it. Here's one more. I love this one. Friday staff meetings. She has already begun meeting uh, weekly meetings, I guess they didn't have that before, like Google, where she can make announcements and field employee questions. It's a let's get to know each other as human beings kind of meeting. I don't know what it's like, haven't been there, but I would imagine it's an interchange of ideas, maybe some uh, uh, issues where they're joking, they're having fun. Also might be some tougher issues, like uh, people saying, yeah, but what about the da-da-da-da? And it's internal company issues that need to be addressed. Do those in your own business. Be real. Pay attention to what's going on and really do it. I think these principles that uh, she's implementing, I'd encourage you to read the article in the uh, Wall Street Journal, but um, what she's doing is being done right. That's what you and I have to do. Let's make sure that we pay attention to the right details, right down to the nitty gritty like hiring people. Do the data analysis and then have those open meetings. Have the discussions with customers, with employees, with contractors, with vendors, all the people that are key stakeholders around you and that will succeed. And to do this, part of that is social media, like Yahoo, Google, and we're seeing Facebook, of course, Twitter. How do you get it all done? Well, time management is critical on that, and that's why we put together a report and a whole project that is helping so many people right now. It's phenomenal. Uh, time management for social media, and we've got it available for you now, and in fact, at a special price. See here on the website, and you can get it for 51% discount. So you'll be able to get the audio, be able to get video, training tools, 
on how to use social media in the right way. Focus on the areas that are most important and then let the others go elsewhere and use the right tools. I actually went out and interviewed a lot of people that are very successful, multi-millionaires, what they are doing with Facebook, with Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and what they're not doing also. So this is available for you. You can get it right there. I'm Terry Brock with terrybrock.com. Thank you for joining me today.